First, we would like to introduce Piąte Liceum Ogólnokształcące in Krakow in the play The Fourth Sister by Janusz Głowacki. It uses Chekhov's classic text as a springboard from which Głowacki weaves a modern story capturing the quality of Eastern European life at the turn of the century. The world in transition from communism to capitalism. The three sisters, Tanya, Vera and Katya, are desperately trying to find grounding in a stable system of values, whatever it might be. Who am I kidding? 
No, it's a disgrace to show your way up an Italian shoe with a sock. Forget it. <coughs> what about that boy who was upside down in the air? He only had one shoe. The other one, the other one must have fallen off. Where? In a museum. Chagall painted it. It was a sculpture of man. Yuri doesn't like Chagall. I like that painting. Reminds me of my life. Oh, check it out. Try it on. Nothing from 
for himself, everything goes to Russia. Are you sure it was? A hundred percent. That's my freaking luck. I knew from the start it wouldn't work out. I knew. I knew. All men are the same. That's not true. You just have to keep your eyes open and look around. I kept them open and he still managed to kill <coughs> my meat. Don't worry, Katienka. One boy hung upside down in the alley of the shoe. He was still smiling. <coughs> this Jew. They hung him. No, on a painting. Too bad. Chagall painted it. And Lady Diana didn't only dress in this thing. She also liked my children. Uh, and Donnie was extremely intelligent, precious to movies. What do you two have against millionaires as what's left over from communism? Maybe I shouldn't get thrown out of that class. Maybe I'm a hidden talent. I can't listen to this. Stop yapping. Come on. Let's get the papers. You know, I can't trust anyone. They follow my every steps and enemies can find out anything and everything. What's a relief? A man who sterilizes like a cripple, a reject. In Russia we need many children. Yes, yes. Of course, with the elections coming up, I can follow myself and A child out of 12. If you understand, it will mess up my image. It will be around. But don't worry about the thing. Tomorrow, I'll give you an address of a good gynecologist. Of course, I can go with you. But I sent a party card. Oh my god, I'm so happy. It looks like a black, ugly black. I'm not going back to work. Forgive me. I can't look at him. My God, what are you going to live on? I look for a job. I was a teacher once. There's no school tomorrow. Uh, there's a teacher strike. Just leave them late. Don't worry. It's nothing. I still know me to listen. Somehow we'll make it. We'll take care of the baby. There won't be any baby. I, I can't I can't look at him. I don't want his child. I know. I'll go to hell and I deserve it. I understand. I do the same thing. Take that asshole's money and get it. I won't take a cent. What do you mean you'll take it? Cost six hundred dollars. I'll go to one of those public places. No, you won't! He don't have anesthesia. I can take it. Mother always said, suffer as much as you can while you're still young. I'm tired. God, I hate myself. I had the money for you and now I can't. And I now went to home base with a pervert. So much money. Mommy won't forgive me. 
She told me that today. Stop yapping. I had a terrifying dream yesterday. There was a line of about 50 women, most of them with children. I tried to cut in and said that they had an appointment. And they started to laugh and said that they all have appointments. One at the end said that after it, she still had to get back home in time to go to dinner for her husband. She was around 20. She was pretty, except she didn't have two front teeth. <laughs> and she <coughs> held a little girl in her hands, about four years old, and eyes that took up half of her face, gray blue, just like you when you were little. And she smiled at me. I don't know. I won't do it. God, I'm so stupid. But I did it. And what am I going to do? What did you do? Oh, the home base with Kostya, this gangster from upstairs. What home base? They showed a report from the Middle East. It's a nightmare. Uh, oh, I didn't tell you. Home base is with other towns. Stop it. God, I just hope more hell won't come out of all this. I wanted to sacrifice myself, but I was seized with dignity. I mean, it was fun, but I wasted good cash. I know, Mira. I know. I try and I know that everybody lies. But why does he lie? Who? What do you mean, who? John. When he confessed something, he said it was like a sound. John. That American movie they went. The one I've been seeing. Thanks. For three years you've been promising that you'll quit drinking. I know. But if I had quit drinking three years ago, I would have drunk for three years now. <coughs> but I drink all day long. When we met the first time on the metro, he asked me where to get off. I thought it was just after my meat like the other guy. But he makes movies about prostitutes. When I, when I left the house today, I forgot to put on cream and there was a strong wind. And I felt like it was making my skin chapped. You know, there was nothing between me and the wind. And then I realized that the only thing I want to do is to read. That because of Yuri, because of those insane politics, I stopped reading. And books are the thing that always separated me from cold, stupidity, wind, poverty, life. Why do you drink and lie? I don't lie, and I drink because I lie. Now, seriously, didn't it an American talent? You see, I didn't say anything because you two have this poisonous, unjustified, skeptical, pessimistic attitude towards me. You don't believe any good can happen to me. And now, you see, you still don't believe it. You're lying. No, he lies. Today he said, I look like Anna Karenina, and that he loves me. And I drink because I like to drink. He already said that on the metro. No, in the hotel. You went with him to a hotel? Which one, Rosia? Okay, please. Only, why did he say he loves me? Why, Rosia? Hmm? Because he wanted to get you into bed. That's when you say things like that. But I already did it him the first day we got mad. You went to bed with him on the first day? I was afraid he changed his mind. <laughs> but then he didn't say anything about love. <coughs> Only about the sunstroke. Because, you know, when he first saw me, he said yes, he was already there. told us. Swear to our mother that she met him. I swear to die on mother. The first day. That's why Russian girls get such an unjustified reputation. <laughs> and what? Nothing. He says he loves me. 
Little Cassandra. Don't worry about that. Could have been high. There's only one thing I want to do. To read. Is that too much to ask for? 